Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. In a previous video, we discussed how to reverse a string using two pointers in C, C++. Today, I want to discuss how to reverse a sentence using a similar approach. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so if you haven't watched my previous video on how to reverse a string, I recommend that you pause this video and watch that one first because we're going to build on the same code base. So today, this is what we're going to discuss. is basically, given an example input string like the one on the screen, my name is Mo, we want to write the code to be able to reverse this uh, whole sentence, but, you know, maintaining the same words as is, that we're going to take word by word, move the last word to become first, and the first word to become come last etc so my name is mo is going to read as mo is name my i'm not going to go into detailed slides i'm just going to jump right into the code so let's get started okay so we have our reverse string project here in visual studio 2015 the community free edition we built this in the previous video so please check that out first so in order to uh, implement our new reverse statement function we're gonna create the prototype here it's gonna return a char pointer just like the first one reverse sentence yes and we're gonna pass in a char pointer pointer to sentence so the idea is that let's say we have this input my name is oh we're gonna actually benefit from the reverse string function so the technique i'm gonna uh, use here is gonna be that we're gonna reverse each uh, word here right we look for space and then reverse each word like this so it's gonna be my is gonna be reversed into y m and then name is gonna become you know like reversed into e m a n and then s is we're gonna become s i then mo is gonna become e o m but that's the first iteration we reverse every single word and then what's this gonna produce is gonna produce uh, something like this m s i e o m but now if we actually employ uh, reverse string one more time on this it's gonna actually put it like this if we reverse the whole string it's gonna be mo is name my that's what we want to accomplish here so the technique basically is to reverse every single word in this sentence and then once we're done we're going to reverse the whole sentence from beginning to end all right so to make this work what we want to do is we want to modify our reverse string function here and because we're going to be working with ranges of characters i'm going to pass in actually the P start and p and pointers and this is i'm gonna call this reverse chars instead of string this way so if anybody passes n null variables then we protect ourselves against that okay so now we want to say next p string equal to p start remember this is going to be returned from this function we don't need this anymore so this is pretty much the new function all right so we're going to benefit from this in a minute so now let's go to our reverse sentence first of all always check your input parameters if null is p sentence then we can't do anything here return null otherwise i'm going to define our pointer p start equals p sentence Sentence, then a char pointer p and equals p sentence while it's not the end of the string i'm gonna do p and plus plus here if the character we're looking at is an empty space that means it's an end of a word so in this case we're gonna employ that function reverse ours from, from the start to end minus one because end is right now pointing at the space i'm gonna just leave it as is then now we move star skip the white space so this reverses actually reverse the word okay so we will continue all the way until we hit the last word for example here until the last word here and if there's no space here then we're not going to be able to reverse this so that's why at the end here we're going to say reverse stars anyways one more time from star to end and minus one because it's actually pointing at the null in this case reverse last word now that we reversed all the words now we just need to reverse the whole sentence one more time because remember this code so far is going to make it look like this right this is because we reverse we flip every single word but now we take all this and reverse it using the start here and end here so we're gonna put m here and then y at the end right that's the 
So how do we do that? Well, we just say reverse the whole sentence and we are done. So we say reverse chars from beginning of sentence. Luckily, P end is still pointing at the end of the string. So we could do this. All right. So this is pretty much all the code we need. And let's test this out here. Remember, we just going to call the new function sentence. So it's the same output. Input is the string that we define here. And output is this uh, function that we call. So to compile and run, hit Control F5. And let me zoom in. As you can see here on the screen, input is my, my name is Mo, output Mo is my name. So here's the code and that's pretty much it. And this is another typical interview question. And as you can see here, we only use two pointers. We did not have to use any additional buffers. We only loop through the string once here and then we loop one more time here. But because these are not nested, so this would still be an O-N and this is another like O-M, whatever. So it, it, it's still big O-N uh, execution time which is uh, good uh, and acceptable. Well, actually, I just noticed that here there's a warning. As you can see here, I forgot we should return from this function our P sentence. So it's still the same. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have a request for a video, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And finally, go check out my website, programmertube.com, download the source code, and for more free stuff.